Yes. Um, there was the thought that someday down the road, environmental rules change, there's issues, you need a place to build a replacement plant, whatever else. We were carving out a large area. It's a lot easier to build a new sewer plant, uh, not next to an old one, and we're digging 20, 20 some feet into the rock. You're trying to, you know, the, the, the home currently uses that sewer plant. We can't shut that off for a year while we build a new sewer plant. Uh, because it's very difficult to build next to it. I'm questioning why we want to build next to the existing sewer plant. We can carve a big, huge area out that gives you all the space for future expansion. Uh, it based on the environmental rules changing, whatever else. You have your own private area, as opposed to put it in the middle of a, a, a development. Uh, you know, I think the current location was chosen because uh, there was nothing there. There was a field. Uh, also, I think for us to discharge where you're looking to, where we discussed with DEP, we're a lot closer to that with our proposed location as opposed to following the route that the Homes plant does, which was thought to be undesirable. So that was our reason for putting it there. There was feedback from your environmental engineer, not putting words in anybody's mouth, but that was the reason we discussed that for a year. That's why it was there. That was kind of a new item to throw that out there. We put it where the old one was. We can't put it where the old one is because we can't get rid of the Frederick uh, Home sewer plant. That's why we built a new one. But you can put it next to it. Yeah, building it next to it becomes very difficult, and then you, know, you have it in the middle of all the new residents, which, what's the point? Well, you just scale back the residential piece down there. To make room for it. To make room for it, and then So is that an effort to try to reduce the number of houses? Well, potentially maybe a few more single family detached go into Again, let's just call, call it what it is, you're trying to reduce the number of units, right? Because originally everyone's yeah. on board with the current we could, location. We could say the reason you put it there is because you want to increase the number of units. Uh, you're right. No, absolutely. Because we want to come up with a compromise between the 319. That's absolutely right. If we put it where you're talking about, we don't get anywhere close to it, and then we may as well build apartments. I mean, again, I'm not trying to be threatening. I know we had this conversation. I was kind of surprised that you know, it was very clear. Nobody wanted apartments. They're packed house here, and everybody said, absolutely no apartments. No way, no apartments. Now it's not you're talking about apartments again. We can go that route if that's what you're looking to do. Right. Well, the problem with the apartments is it's a, it's a, it's a, more of a transient type of a, a not anybody wants population. Nobody wants it there. there. There's, you know, no, Nobody no wants prior to ownership and that sort of thing. Correct. Well, you should have stuck on 319. Uh, it's not allowed to build. If you own the but property, you want to build what you're allowed to build. But it's, it's dollars and cents. I to come to most all your meetings, and it's like a calculator in your head, and you know, I, I no, nobody wants to see it, but I think it says, you know, sometimes you got to play your blood. Um, and I think, you know, you maybe sh should be doing more to compromise into the township and the township compromising to you. I gave up 22 units. That not compromise? I don't know. Well, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Tim, I understand what you're trying to do, and, and you know, it, it makes sense from where you stand. But I don't like my position being misrepresented. I'm sorry, please represent it correctly. I didn't mean well, misrepresent You guys came up with a buy rate plan of 319 units. Mm -hmm. I reviewed it and I said, no, if the, if the plan is for townhouses and singles, you're not going to get any more than 274. We talked about that here a year ago. Mm -hmm. yep. And then since then, we've seen nothing. I never else. agreed to that number because it, well, there was a lot of the whether council you did or, to Whether you did or not, that was a number that was discussed with the planning By commission. you, correct. Right. And ever since then, every number you, you've given has been higher. And then you come back and say, I endorsed 319. I never did that. No, no, no. I just, I, I did not mean to say you endorsed it. My read of your letter is you acknowledge that's permitted. You said you reviewed it. Why that else? letter? And right here. I mean, you want the letter? I remember this conversation too. This is your letter. At the time, he was looking for a number, and 274 was, he was happy. It with says it. that's what you yeah. showed. Yeah, and you said you reviewed it. You never came back yeah, and said it's worth less. I said that number isn't good. That was the whole purpose of my review. How many apartments am I allowed to build? I didn't look at apartments. Well, that's what the 319 is. No. That was your buy right plan showing townhouses and singles. I'm confused. 
I mean, at this point, do we just go with apartments? We, is, that, is that where we're at? I mean, this is getting ridiculous. We're, um, it, I, I disagree with you. We sat in multiple staff meetings. You said you're allowed to do 390. You're, read no. your letter. It says, we, you we said that this is apartments and nobody wants to do apartments, so we're going to ignore that. That's what it says right here. Most of us in this room think 274 is too much, but what we, what we would like you to do is to stop coming in at 290, 300. I mean, you haven't even gotten close to the 274, and then and then, and then you threaten us with apartments. I'm not threatening or, anybody. I'm just trying to. Yes, yes you what? are. You are, you definitely Sounds are, like and, and you're turning everybody off on this board right now. Can we live at 285? <laughs> I mean, where? Huh? No, I mean, I, I just dropped off 12 units. That, that's nothing. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. What, what number can you live with? You told me 274 is too many. Yeah, but that's the number we came up with a year ago. Your planner did. It, yes. Based off, he said he doesn't like to see more than 274 in there. Not that it's not allowed. No, no, I reviewed no, your plan for compliance, and I said to do this sort of plan, you will get at most that number. That was my evaluation Under your current zoning. of your concept based on the by right zoning. Right. So that became one marker in the negotiation. Okay. It's like, okay, this is what he can do by right if he builds singles and towns based on the township's existing zone. Then can I skip any 55 and over, you know, age targeted stuff? And that, that, would, that, that wouldn't even, require that. That wasn't even considering Right, which you typically get a density bonus for that, right? Have you ever seen a township where they don't give you a density bonus for 55 and over? For age restricted, I have seen. I have for age restricted. Right, right, right. Um, age target is different. Age target. I offered age restricted on everything west, and I think Ed said he didn't have any interest in that. Well, I think the planning commission did. I think well, that I was a discussion point that. because there was a discussion of we don't have enough volunteers for our fire company, and if we go with 55 and older developments, we're going to be putting more burden on our emergency services and not coming up with replenishments for our volunteer pool. Um, I, so I. I seem to remember we had a pretty in-depth conversation basically saying we're really not interested in the, in the age-restricted. You came back with an age-targeted concept that it would still be open, but it would accommodate older folks, and I think the planning commission thought that sounded reasonable. Yeah, we um, weren't making it a report. No. So what might we accept? If we, if we don't do any changes to the ordinance, no overlays, live by existing rules, how many units to get in here? Because every, every time we look at a, an overlay or a new ordinance, it, all it does is benefit the developer in numbers. Ed, is your number 274 or that's not a correct number? That's, that's the number I came up with that was by right. Yeah, with, with no, no changes to ordinances or overlays or changing setbacks. Correct. Okay. And accepting the environmental mapping as, as they presented it. And that would be singles and towns. Town. Singles and towns. Um, would you, let's just say hypothetically, I'm, I'm, I'm talking without saying that this, is, this works. Um, there's a couple of issues. One, the sewer plant. Does the sewer plant go away? Because we all acknowledge that it's just a density thing. So we agree to the 274. You said you lose density if it was moved over, Tim, right? Tim. No, that's, no, that's, that wasn't it. Well, why, why would you move it? Why? Because they, they, that's what we sat and said, yeah, we agreed it was supposed to go where we go. No. Well, we've been asking you for a long time, why do you want it where it is? We think uh, the lower ground. Uh, you were, what? Already, you know, there you, were your, sewer engineer, your sewer engineer told us where to put it. No, no he, that's not what he told me. He said, he said the location. He either used that verb if he wasn't talking about the plan. He said, he said either either location was acceptable uh, from. A, no wonder. Okay. Okay. But, but any any but, sewage treatment plant is going to eventually be owned by the town because they won't allow a homeowner right. association or developer to run a sewer plant. It's going to be the township's responsibility. Why would the township want to maintain and have the expense of additional pumping station to put the plant where you want to put it. New Hanover would take a sewer. Do you want to then just take it and skip the sewer plant altogether? The board already told you no. Okay. So I'm just asking questions. Right. Um, so, but we got a letter from you today that right. has some reasonably good justification. I'm just like, okay. I don't think it's good enough. 
Yeah. So I don't know that it's good enough, but you know, I think Lawrence got to look at it. Fresh uh, got to look at it. Sachs got to look at it. We got to back to it. We got that today. I so I don't, we're not prepared to tell you, yeah, yeah the plant goes where you want it. Yeah. But I think we're getting closer, at least now. Well, at least we're discussing issues instead of parking and curves. <laughs> Well, there, there's another item that, that uh, was brought up that we should build a road, and again, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, but basically parallel to 73, correct, to handle traffic? Yep. Yeah. Why would we build a road, I mean, this is Homeowners Association roads. So Why would we build a whole one, mile long road just to take care of traffic? It's a state road out on 73. Well, because we all know that the traffic at Colonial and the road is a problem, um, so there's concern about dumping traffic at that intersection one point. and what's up yeah at one spot right and you know I think the township's willing to consider this alternate route to be a public road I think can we have a house on that route I mean can it be, just be part of the development I think so I mean if it can work out I don't see why not um because I mean that obviously we're starting over from scratch now because I mean, we've had this plan for a long time and you're saying redesign from day one because there's no parallel road to 73. It actually, just came actually up there, there. no, there was an early version. From us? Mm -hmm. but, I mean, it's not absolutely parallel, but it shows a connection it runs through. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody that lives on the Schwanksville side drive all the way through development to come out at Colonial Road? Aren't they, they going to just go to their run. exit and go out 73? Right? So, I mean, you know, as an alternative, you can go ahead and submit the traffic study now that helps us look at, you know, the concerns about the intersection of Colonial and Big Road. You know, we're trying to sort of anticipate traffic problems because, you know, we're going to have a traffic problem at Colonial and Big Road. You know, all this traffic is now going to be dumping onto Big Road. It, it just it just seems to be a logical option for the township, especially if the township takes the road, so that we can at least have less traffic dumping onto Big Road. Um, yeah. Well, that's just, out a little bit. yeah. Don't people naturally go which way is quicker? I mean, why are they going to all pour out the Colonial Road Drive all the way through the development to Wake Line? I mean, if our traffic study shows that it's going to flow the way it's supposed to, does that address the issue? Obviously, something to review on your end, on your professional. Yeah, well, we can talk about it over some more. Yeah. I'm just trying to picture where this parallel road exactly. was discussed. I'm, I'm having trouble. We don't know. This we, we don't know anything about it. This, we think it's new. Obviously, you're saying it's not. It's been there before. That's right. Yeah, I think people are trying to fix the infrastructure, so it's, this is the biggest thing, you know, the developments go in, but there's nothing, nothing ever done to help the traffic at all. Like I say, I live right next door, I wait and I wait and I wait problem, to get yeah. out. So, you know, 274, I don't like that number either, but, uh, you know, I know there's uh, things I have to accept and, you know, compromise on our end. You know as well as I do, if you dump traffic, if they put a road on coming out on Colonial Road, you know as well as I do, they're going to come out. There's going to be a lot of traffic, and it's hard enough getting out of Colonial Road now as it is. Would you like us not to connect to Colonial Road? Just have access on a 73? Would that solve the problem? I think the idea with the parallel road is it would give the people that live in Blantyre options and what will happen is over time, when people are leaving for work, if there's a particularly bad time and they know they're going to get back to the Colonial, they might drive a little bit extra distance to take access at the Heinbach exit. I, people are, are absolutely are going to be driven by, I'm late for work, I didn't give myself enough time, so they're going to take the point of least resistance. Right. And I know, even my short drive to work, I know there's a window of about 15 minutes where if I leave in that 15 minutes, I'm going to be sitting through a light for four or five cycles versus if I was five minutes earlier because it just seems to be that's when things build up. And I think that was a, the point that Tracy was trying to make was to try to distribute that with a road that parallels Big Road to allow uh, a better distribution of traffic. Well, what if we just take the traffic off the Colonial Road? Does that solve the problem? We just do two axes on 73. Or we have a 
the north side of Colonia, it's only about that many houses they could connect onto it. We, Is Colonia a township or worse Canberra? So you'd have all but the cluster of homes on the east side, uh, I'm sorry, the west, the northwest side, that northwest corner from Colonial and 73 would go out to Colonial, everybody else would go out to 73. Well, all you want to eliminate is, is if you wanted to go down Colonial Road, you could go that way and down Colonial Road. So but he's saying he doesn't want any. I'm just saying, how do we how do we resolve it? That's that's the question. Well, if you wanted to go toward Pottstown, you could go the other way on the Colonial Road. Right. Instead so of coming out and then down and then back down, mm -hmm. creating as UPS, you know, you try to do the least or right turn. Right turn. Right turn. Right turn. Right turn. Right turn. Just a thought. It's bad enough with the North Park. Well, uh, I, I did not come here with any intent to threat. I, I was on a, a different page than what we were. I don't know. Um, I certainly never agreed to 274. That was brought about by Ed numerous times. Tracy brought that up. I never said 274 is fine with me. You told a lot of green signs in the town. Yeah, I saw. I saw. Um, but I'm just saying, as far as, you know, somewhere, and, and Ed's reference in his letter that we're proposing 290, whatever it is, 99 or 97. I'm just saying, no, we, we actually had a higher number than that, so we, we were already giving a, a you know, some, some reduction there. Can we say, <clears throat> because we're not getting real far tonight, can we say that you'll take a look at the comments on the sewer plant location and give us feedback on that as to yes. whether or not that works. Yeah, I just got that at 3.30. No, I, just, I, didn't, I didn't even expect to get into that, that review letter, that not review letter, that comment letter today. Um, and can we say that you're not agreeing to the sewer plant location, but if you do agree to the sewer plant location, I'll agree to the 274, and we'll take both those issues off the table and work on everything else going forward. Obviously, you're not agreeing to anything tonight. I'm just saying that would be a condition on my end. To say tonight, I agree to 274, we do the sewer things. If we can, then we come back and just talk from there again and see where okay. we go. Does that work? Does the board feel? Yeah. I've always had a problem with agreeing to a number because I don't know that until you really get out there and you start laying it out. And we have 297. We can easily make 274 work. We got 25 lots to get rid of. I mean, I know you did a wetland study. I don't know how to read it. I don't understand it. But, I mean, are we, uh, when you get. Right down I don't know if it's as much the yeah. wetland study because Susan made strides for sure on your environmental, your site portion of it, ERSM, uh, yeah. your plan. I think okay. you agreed that it was yeah. pretty accurate. Yeah, exactly. I think but that I mean, was... Kind of what I'm here. Yeah. And I'm that. So that number's a whole lot higher. What I'm saying, so 274 is a whole lot lower. So we just agree to that number. I, mean, I I'm not willing to spend another half million dollars and you come back and say we've got to drop another 20 or we got no deal. That's the, I'm not going to do that. Well, and Tim, I didn't get a chance to well, finish, so that doesn't mean that I consequently agreed to that. Okay, I just want to make sure that that's clear for the record. What the rest of what I was going to the say, the supervisors approves anything. Nothing means anything. What I, what I was going to say is the the bigger issue that we seem to have is again when you take an apartment building and you pull it apart and you increase that footprint. The issues that we have are the property line buffers and the rear, those type of things that take up. I agree space. 100%. I guess the flip side of that, and not as an argument, but the, the next logical progression is if you agree to a number, then you have to see what you can live with to make that fit in the bag, right? <laughs> that's exactly the problem. That's that's what we have to do. So yeah. you pick a number, and the rest works backwards from there. And I think what, what Ken was getting at was if we agree to a number, we might be left with things that we're not, not comfortable with. So well, I already have this plan, that's 297. So I, I guess maybe <clears throat> if you were to look at a layout that did a combination of 274 units and see what that gave us with our side yards. Because obviously when we start talking about the length of the driveway, a beauty strip, rolled curb, slant curb, straight curb, uh, width of a sidewalk, that affects your units as well. So when you put all that on a plan, okay, and the, the PC could say, you know what, if you can do this, 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 and this, and make 274 work, you know, we're generally comfortable with that. Okay? Yeah, because like if that. you've got... Can we agree that we don't have to worry about any age restricted, we can narrow the town homes down, all that stuff to what's allowed? We can get all rid of that, or no? Restate, please. Can we get rid of the age restricted component, or age qualified, rather? 
I, I think that was. I don't know. I come back every week. I don't know. I took, can we get rid of that? I mean, Ed says he doesn't care, right? Um, who lives there is your business. Okay. So can we get rid of that? Yeah. The, not, they said they weren't that interested. Right. It was the age okay. targeted that you had thrown well, out. Well, it helped with traffic, right? Because then those people aren't leaving for work at the same time. I'm just making sure we're all aware of those things are gone, right? Just so I understand. Might, I do, okay? might you do part of it that way? Like, yeah. Is higher density or lower density more likely if you're going to sell a unit to somebody going to buy a townhouse? Well, if we're saying we want wider side yards, for instance, instead of doing wide townhomes on the end, why don't you do narrow that gives me more room for wider side yards elsewhere in other units, right? Again, geometry. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're saying. How much I much generally agree have? with that statement. Yeah. That, that's, I just got to know what the parameters are. You say no. Well, then, okay, it's no. Then, I just gotta, then we will have to adjust accordingly. That's, I just need to know what to work with. I, mean, I can't have too many variables, or else no plan is ever going to be satisfactory. Right. How about street width? So we, is it, we're locked down on that already? Like street width, the, the driveway lengths, no parking on the street. You still have to get two per year. Well, I want to go through all those things today. Yeah. We're saying we're, we're going to add ourselves. We're not locked in on that because we're still dealing right. with the bigger concepts. Yeah. We haven't. You're not but, but at the same time, if you understand, right. how do we design a road understand. to make the lots fit for the driveways? And we don't know what the driveway is supposed to be. We don't know what the roads are supposed to be. And you're supposed to go back with a plan in your life. How, how's that or, possible? Or to the dimensions of the roads spelled out in the uh, ordinance. That's what you want us to go with? Now it's going to be private roads. So does your ordinance have any applicability there? Mm -hmm. your, yours would be for township roads, right? So do you have any applicable requirements for private roads? I think there's a statement in there that essentially private shall be constructed to the standards of town. Constructed to in case it's ever. Well, I believe it is would be inclusive. Still, it's clear. You still got to get a fire truck. No, I know that. No, no, <clears throat> no. But if it's if it's what your ordinance says, then we know what to work with. Yeah. I mean, we just need we certainly we need a couple of hard and fast to work with, or else we're just keeping stretching and pulling and pushing, and we're never going to get anywhere. Well, do you want to send us the six questions so that they can like contemplate it? You have them, but I'll resend them. I mean, so you've been back and forth on the email. I don't know that I I'll send them to you. I'll send them to you. Okay, I wasn't sure if you had boiled down. No, 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 no. It's just the, the it's just Norm's response. That's, but okay. I'll. But there was someone that Norm answered. The only ones we brought up were the ones that Norm said this needs to be discussed with the planning commission. Okay. That, I think that's I all I forwarded it, but I'll forward it again. To well, you. I'll I'll, I'll that the email Norm's response I'll, to the engineer's questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. But I'll repackage it. Some, you know, just get rid of everything that doesn't apply. If Norm gave us answers, we're saying we don't have an issue with the answers. It's only something said to discuss. So uh, there was assume. there was one other issue with configuration. Um, you know, in the, in the township standards, there's rather broad neighborhood setbacks. And the proposed ordinance kind of does away with that, with something that is much narrower and, and I, in my view, inadequate. Now, one of the things we talked about that can help you with that is reducing like the single family lot size from 10,000 square feet, which is on the books now, to yeah, 8,000. So okay, we're, we're which, going back to no However the rules are written now, that's what he's going to play by. We're not going okay. to do any overlays or new ordinances. No, but Some he's way, saying, but you he's saying we should go with smaller would, lots. You're saying don't. That's what I'm saying. We're not on the same page. So you're saying now that you would not, you would not think about uh, smaller single-family lots to preserve hedgerows or to get broader neighborhood setbacks because... Yeah, I no, think that was a good idea. Yeah, I did decide that. Yeah, and so I'm 